plant growth and meristems. In this video we're going to look at how plants grow, looking particularly at things called meristems, and then we're going to compare how plants grow and how animals grow. So what are plant meristems? Um, they are a region of unspecialized plant cells that are at the top of a plant shoot. These are unspecialized cells. They're very similar to embryonic stem cells in humans or other animals in that they can become any type of plant cell. Obviously in humans they become any type of animal cell. Um, these cells can replicate quite quickly and therefore the plant is able to grow. You can see this shoot is split into three zones, three parts. And we're going to have a look at what each of those parts do. So meristems, region of unspecialized cells that allow the plant to grow. There are three zones within the plant. The zone of cell division. This is the area in which these unspecialized cells replicate. Underneath the zone of cell division, you have an area where the cells elongate. So after the cells have been um, created through cell division, the cells then elongate, get longer. After they've elongated, they then start to specialize and become the different type of plant cells that are needed in those particular parts of the plant. So the first step is cells divide, cell division, so we've got some new cells forming there. You then have elongation occurring, so these cells have just finished elongating, they're about to enter the zone of specialization. These ones here are just about to start to elongate, so watch carefully what happens. Okay, there we go. So those cells became specialized. These ones have elongated and the zone of cell division has moved up slightly. That's because the plant has grown. Growth in plants is mainly due to the elongation of cells. So the, the vast majority of growth comes from the cells elongating, not new cells being created. That's where the um, difference in height actually comes from. Um, we're now going to compare growth in plants and growth in animals. So in plants, growth occurs continuously throughout the plant's life. It doesn't stop when the plant reaches maturity. Whereas in animals, they grow whilst they're young, they then reach full growth and stop. They no longer grow. Um, growth in height is mainly due to cells elongating or getting bigger in plants, whereas growth in animals is due to cell division, there being more cells. Cell division in plants tends to happen at the tips, so right at the end of shoots and at the end of roots. Meristems are unspecialized cells that can divide and form any type of cell. Um, in animals you have embryonic stem cells that are undifferentiated, they can divide into any type of cell, but they only exist while the animal is young, while sort of an embryo inside um, the mother's uterus. Um, and then you have adult stem cells which can only become certain types of cell. So the um, stem cells that can turn into any type of cell are only inside the animal whilst it's very young, an embryo inside the uterus, whereas in the plant the meristems are there throughout its life. Um, plants can also regenerate, they can grow new parts. If you chop a branch off a tree it can regrow, whereas if I was to chop a person's arm off the arm wouldn't regrow. So they have this ability to regenerate and that is because they have these meristems, unspecialized cells, they can become any type of cell. Humans can't do that because they only have adult stem cells inside them and they can only become certain types of cell. So they're not able to fully regenerate sort of limbs. Um, similarly, plants can be cloned by taking a cutting, and that's again, again because of these meristems, unspecialized cells, whereas that doesn't happen in humans.